What is the purpose of a free press? Is the purpose of a free press for anybody who happens to get hired by a media corporation to say whatever they want, to pop off, to point the nation in a bizarre direction? I'm not saying that should be stopped. I'm saying, not by government, what is the purpose of free speech? Even more specifically, what's the purpose of a free press? Is the purpose of a free press to have a person like Don Lemon on five days a week who simply uses his platform to trash the president of the United States? Is the purpose of a free press to have somebody like Brian Stelter on weekends who has as his goal attacking hosts on Fox and the Fox News Channel? No, of course not. When you look at the history of a free press in this country... The purpose isn't to give a platform to individuals to do whatever they want to do, even though they're free to do that, of course. The purpose is to strengthen American society. The basis of our government is really the opinion of the people. Here's the problem. When you look at the era of enlightenment, or what's sometimes called the era of reason, when you look at how so many of these principles, these beliefs, came to be tangible, some governments adopted them, and our government adopted a lot of them. What's happening in our country today is an era of unenlightenment, if you will. I'll coin the word unenlightenment. When you look at what passes as news in this country, porno stars, backbencher professors, failed authors, Michael Cohen, this tape, that tape, another tape, this is an unreality. And so the lowest common denominator is the the, the mentality of many of these hosts and their surrogates is what passes for news. But that's not what the freedom of the press is all about. Now, this is an important issue. The status progressives use freedom of the press to advance their ideology. And that includes tearing down anybody who doesn't agree with them, even destroying anybody who doesn't agree with them. Now, they can pick a few exceptions and say, well, no, we played this guy and we showed this guy. But that's not their purpose. The purpose of CNN is to advance the status progressive ideology. Every host or virtually every host on CNN is a liberal and a Democrat. Virtually every host on MSNBC is a liberal and a Democrat. You might say, well, what about Fox? Virtually every host is a conservative and a Republican. Well, I'd say many of the hosts are Republicans. On the news side, I doubt any of them are. Sometimes it's conservative. Sometimes it's more establishment. But here's the difference. You know what the purpose of a free press is? The purpose of a free press in America, of course, is to report the news. But the purpose of reporting the news and having a free press is to strengthen the principles of a constitutional republic, the freest, most humane system on the face of the earth. During the revolutionary period, the press, as we call it, relative handful of newspapers and pamphleteers, They had as their purpose to promote the American Revolution and the principles that were provided in the Declaration of Independence. That is to strengthen these principles, to advance these principles, and of course to report information. But that's not what the press does today. And why? Because status progressives reject the Enlightenment. There I said it. They promote the unenlightenment. They promote the ideas of a handful of individuals. That's what they do. And then they pat themselves on the back or beat their chests about freedom of the press. They use the press. They use the First Amendment to advance their ideology, to call it news, to attack people they disagree with, who dare to question the status progressive ideology. And then they claim to defend freedom of the press. They're not defending freedom of the press. They're defending themselves. They're defending their own media operations. Freedom of the press is not the property of a news outlet or a self-serving reporter or a self-indulgent host. It is about sustaining a constitutional and free republic. That's why it's in the Constitution, separate and apart from freedom of speech. Freedom of the press is not a megaphone for progressivism. And when we really do not have a free press or when it is abused and misused, That is, to advance groupthink or an ideological agenda. It's destructive of a constitution and a republic and liberty. It becomes the plaything of a relative few corporations and individuals. I'm not claiming to know the perfect manner in which a free press should function, but I can tell you 
I know enough and you know enough to see how it shouldn't. They are weakening our republic. They are weakening our constitution. They are threatening our liberties. They're making a joke of the entire notion of freedom of the press. I'll give you another example with Jake Tapper, the Ed McMahon of the Steve Colbert show and the late show. Also last night, cut four, go. Here's the bottom line. The United States was attacked. The United States was attacked by Russia. Now, it wasn't like Pearl Harbor. It was a cyber attack, and it was a disinformation campaign. But we were attacked, and there was this investigation to find out what happened. All right, let's stop right there. And how much did Jake Tapper or CNN really expose this and how we were attacked and the failure of our government to fight back during the Obama administration? Didn't CNN go ahead and hire one of the Obama administration officials who failed to protect the country? Hasn't CNN used as confidential... Anonymous sources in some cases, at least without attribution, some of the people in the Obama administration who failed to protect the country? Is it not an abomination that when Jake Tapper speaks like this, he fails to speak at all about those who should be held accountable? He says we were attacked, a cyber attack. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we were attacked in the last election when Barack Obama was commander in chief. He ran the Defense Department, he ran the CIA. He ran the National Security Agency and the National Security Council. He ran the Department of Justice. He ran the FBI. He ran the whole kit and caboodle. And Jake Tapper and CNN and the others, they didn't hold them to account. They are propagandists for the status progressives, the Democrat Party. Group think and one voice. That's not freedom of the press. The framers did not put the First Amendment in there to protect Jake Tapper. Or CNN. They put the First Amendment in there to protect you and me so we could be informed. Informed about what? Informed about our government to make sure that our government is faithful to its constitutional requirements and limits. That's not what Jake Tapper and CNN do. Let me hammer down on this now even harder. Of course, a reporter, a media outlet should see its responsibility in part as holding government officials accountable. They're corrupt. They're violating the Constitution and so forth. But when they see their purpose as making it as difficult, if not impossible, for a president to function, that is not what freedom of the press is about. That's what status progressivism is about. Freedom of the press is not the privilege of a reporter or a news organization. It is a privilege granted to the American people. So, of course, there can be criticism of the government. There should be. Of course, there should be monitoring of the government. There should be. But that's not the same as having as an agenda, a purpose to advance an ideological policy perspective, a political party policy perspective, and or to make it difficult, if not impossible, for a legitimately elected president of the United States to function. Because then you have a privileged reporter or organization, corporation, which is abusing its power, claiming to be part of a free press, when in fact its objective has nothing to do with the press, with upholding a constitutional republic or anything of the sort. Now, let's move away from the philosophical in 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 a sense here. Does anybody really believe that CNN even intends to be a news organization? Why? Because they sprinkle news out there? Like sprinkles on a cupcake? No, I don't think so. It's not a news organization. You know, you might say, well, neither is Fox, neither is MSNBC. They don't claim to be pure news organizations. CNN gave birth to this whole cable idea of cable news, cable news network. Isn't that what CNN means? But it's not really news. It's now working with Lanny Davis and working with Michael Cohen. It worked with James Brennan in the past. It's working with former Obama officials, former Clinton officials, Other individuals who used to work for or around Trump, not for the purpose of providing you with information and news of of substance type or quality that has anything to do with the republic. They are committed to sabotaging the president and his agenda. And that's what they do day in and day out. Let's go back to this clip. It's very telling of, uh, what's his name, Jake Tapper on the uh, Stephen Colbert show. Cut four again, Mr. Producer. Go ahead. Here's the bottom line. The United States was attacked. 
The United States was attacked by Russia. Now, it wasn't like Pearl Harbor. It was a cyber attack, and it was a disinformation campaign. But we were attacked, and there is this investigation to find out what happened. Now, part of the investigation has to do with Donald Trump and whether or not anybody in his orbit cooperated. But there's this other larger investigation about what happened and how can we prevent it from happening again. And there are a whole bunch of people... No, 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 no. That's not what's happening. It's being investigated. How can we prevent it from happening again? Who's doing that? Mueller's not doing that. It's not even his job. Department of Justice isn't doing it. That's not their job. The FBI is not doing it. It's not their job. Who is who is investigating it so it doesn't happen again? I'll tell you who. The Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee. Not the Senate Intelligence Committee. Not anybody else. They're the ones doing it. And Jake Tapper and his network trash them all the time. Not because they're trying to edify the American people or hold the government to account because they're advancing an ideological agenda and making it as difficult as possible for that committee to function. Go ahead. Prevent the investigation from going forward. I mean, imagine if somebody tried to prevent the investigation into how Pearl Harbor happened from going forward. You would say that that person is not being patriotic. This, this, this shows not just an ideological point of view and utter confusion. It shows stupidity. Mueller is a prosecutor. Jake Tapper, he's not investigating anything to make sure it doesn't happen again. Prosecutors didn't investigate Pearl Harbor. The military investigated it. A civil commission investigated it. I have no problem with a civilian commission investigating what took place in the last election, but that's not what you're talking about, Jake Tapper. So you're talking not only out of ignorance, but you're driven ideologically, and you're insisting that this prosecutor be protected. This prosecutor, who is burning through our Constitution each and every day, with every motion and with every indictment. And the reason you're doing this, Jake Tapper, and the reason the entire lineup at CNN does this, is because they want to make it as difficult as possible, if not impossible, for this president and his administration to function. That is not the purpose of a free press. The reason why CNN and MSNBC, but particularly CNN, kept bringing on the porn star and her slip-and-fall lawyer, wasn't to inform you about anything. It was to make it impossible, difficult, for this president to govern. Their whole point is to sabotage him and his presidency. And we don't even need to get into all the details. I get into that frequently enough, and what motivates them and so forth. But that's not the purpose of a free press. Might be the purpose of an opposition political party, might be the purpose of an activist organization, might be the purpose of a union, it might be the... Fine. That's not supposed to be the purpose of a free press. But if you're going to conduct yourself this way, if you believe you're a 24-7 news operation, which has as its objective making it difficult, if not impossible, for the president to function, then you should at least openly, openly align yourselves with proper transparency and labeling. We expect it when we buy a can of soup. We should expect it when we listen to an operation like CNN, which is not a news organization. This is why so many of you get frustrated. Wonderful news comes out today. The American economy is growing, thanks primarily to tax cuts, because that's what tax cuts do, but it undermines the narrative of the Democrat Party, tax cuts. It undermines the progressive agenda, which is to centralize government and to raise taxes and to funnel as much money out of the private sector into the government and the bureaucracy. Moreover, many, many people, if not most, vote based on how the economy is doing, specifically how it affects their own lives and their family. Well, the economy is doing very well. Tax cuts work. The GDP is over 4%. We haven't seen this in years. Now, the media do not have to pat the president on the back of the head. But these obvious, relentless, routine distractions have a purpose. And that is to undermine your faith in what's going on in the country, to undermine your support for policies that have created such outcomes, to drive the status progressive agenda, and again, to try and sabotage the man they despise who happens to be president of the United States. Again, that's not the purpose of a free press. Now, that said, can people who own media outlets, can people who are hosts on media outlets, can people who are so-called reporters for media outlets do this? Of course they can. Should the government interfere? No, the government should not interfere. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is we need to have a discussion, we need to have a debate about what we mean by a free press because it's obvious the ethical standards are non-existent. There are no standards.
They'll even hire Al Sharpton as a, co- as a, as a commentator and a host. Miscreants and malcontents, conga lines of them.